Hi, well, since I had so much interest in the photos that I put on the post yesterday, I decided to make a video. So this is the scarf that I am making. It is on silk charmeuse. It is on a stretcher, as you can see, pulled taut with pins to keep it tight, but not too tight. And what I will do right now is I'm going to put on some dye. It is a French silk dye that I use from Jacquard. It is a heat set dye, and I'm going to just apply it with a foam brush. The trick to silk is to keep a wet line. If you don't keep a wet line, you're going to get a definite and firm line, which you may want, but trust me, there are a lot of surprises in silk dyeing that you sometimes like and sometimes you don't which is very similar to tie-dyeing, right? Sorry, when you're videoing yourself, it's kind of hard to show where I am watching the camera and also watching what I'm making sure what I'm doing. When I am all done adding my colors, which right now is brown sienna and chocolate brown, the two colors kind of get together and they marry. And they have a little party on the silk. And once I've got all my dye on, I will throw some salt on it to create movement within the silk. I have um, protective, a little extra linoleum underneath this. And I've also used, under my stretcher, sorry. And I've also used um, old cotton sheets because when this stuff drops on the floor, well, I can't wait for my art studio to be finished, never, needless to say, because I have put many stains on my hardwood that I'm going to have to refinish. Anyway, so when I'm all done with this, I'll throw some salt on, and then I'm going to put it in my, let it dry for 24 hours, and tomorrow I will wrap it in old cotton sheets that I my husband gets at Goodwill. And I rip it up and wrap them like a cinnamon roll or a tortilla. And wrap that in tin foil because I don't want it to get wet. If it gets wet, the dye will come out. And then all this lovely work, garbage. Which happens. And one of these days, I'm going to tie-dye these white curtains hanging back here because they've got dye all over them anyway. All right, so that's the last. Now, I've got to make sure there's no white spots in the seam. I'm using silk charmeuse. Um, it soaks up the dye like crazy. It's a very heavy silk. It's 19 millimeter, which is kind of like thread count, so the higher the number of mm's on a, uh, the silk it's like threads so it'd be like 400 thread count and with silk charmeuse one side is flat like a crepe and the other side has um, is very shiny like satin so I'm throwing some salt on here like I said the, the salt will create a cool technique and I am using oops sorry just um, sea salt sometimes I throw on Ice cream salt. I've been known to use regular kosher salt. I have been known to use um, water softener salt tablets. I've used little. So, th what the salt does is contrast the dye. It has to be put on while the dye is wet. If the dye is already dry, this won't work. But as the dry the dye dries. It contrasts the silk. It's really, really cool. And I will post that. another picture on the end to show you what this looks like tomorrow. So thank you for watching my dye. Have a great day.